About a month ago, I made a video how to create real-time chat application using Dino and WebSockets. If you haven't watched that video, check out the description of this video or you can find this on my, on my YouTube channel as well. And this is the GitHub repository. If you just want to have a source code, you can check out uh, this repo. The link also will be in the description. So in this video, we're going to see how we can deploy this chat application in Heroku. It's not straightforward. We have to modify a couple of things in the chat application. And this is the deployed version. And this is the how chat looks like. So you specify the name, you choose the group in which you want to join, then click the login button and you are in the group. And on the left side, we see all the uh, connected room users. Uh, okay, so let's just duplicate this and specify uh, another user, for example, bread. Okay. And so this for some reason could not set up the connection. And here we have so we have bread and Zura two users connected. And one user says sends the message and another user gets it immediately. And 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 yeah, just like this. Okay, so let's jump into VS code and work on this repository so that customize it and deploy it on Heroku. If you want to see the final version of the uh, ready to deploy, switch to the branch deploy on Heroku. We, are, we, we have all the changes already made. We have the proc file, which is necessary for Heroku, and you can have the code if you want. Okay, I'm gonna start with master and add a couple of things, modify and deploy finally it on Heroku. Okay, let's start. What's up everybody, the Codetolic is here and welcome to my channel. On this channel I do web development coding tutorials and challenges. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. Okay, let's switch to VS Code. Here is my chat application. We have public folder with static files and we have chat.js and server.js. And the server is up and running on port 3000, but in order to actually see the user interface, this is how I did in my previous video in when I, when I built this, is to use the uh, some server, in, in this case live server for example, to serve the static files. Okay, so let's open this with live server and here it is so it is serving fine but this is the first thing what we need to change so we have right now two servers up and running the live server and the server which is uh the dino server on port 3000 we don't want this we want the dino to serve the static files as well okay so we have to we have to do this so i made a video uh, a couple of days ago where i show um, how you can serve static files in dino and i show two ways with http standard uh, library and the oak framework in this case uh we, we are using http standard library so let's do this with the uh, standard library if you haven't watched that video about the uh, serving static files check out the video description again so I, I will uh, put all the necessary links right there. Okay, so what do we do right here? Okay, so first of all, I want to uh, get the actual URL and create path out of it. Okay, so the URL will be uh, slash index HTML, for example. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so we, we shouldn't have this um, live server of VS Code. Instead, we're gonna have localhost port 3000, for example, index.html, uh, okay? Something like this. And the request URL will be the following thing, okay? So let's create path out of it. const path equals dino current working directory slash public and the request URL. Oops, request.url, okay? So this is, this, this is gonna be the path and now I'm going to check if that path exists. Okay, if await file exists, this file exists function doesn't exist, and I'm going to create it. Okay, so if file exists, the given path, then I'm going to read the content of the file. Oops, const content equals await serve file, and this serve file needs to be imported from the HTTP standard, standard library. Okay, so I'm going to copy this file server and right here we need serve file. 
Okay, so let's right here specify the path. This returns a content, and finally, I'm going to call a on uh, on the request. I'm going to call respond method and specify the whole content. Okay, and I'm going to immediately return from here that the, the other code won't be executed. So I take the path. I check if that path exists in the public directory. I serve that file. Okay, so let's implement this file exists. Okay, I'm going to uh, create a function right here, async function uh, file exists, which will accept path right here. And actually, I'm going to copy and paste the content of this function and explain it. Okay, so we put everything in the try catch and I'm going to explain why. So then we call Dino L stat on the path, which returns some statistics of the file. If the statistics exist and it returns uh, is file true, then we immediately return. Otherwise, we have an error. And if error exists and the error is instance of Dino errors not found, then we return false, meaning that the file doesn't exist. Otherwise, if there is a permission error or something else, we return, uh, we throw the original error. Okay, so this is how it works. And let's have a look. So in this case, we should already be able to serve the static files using Dino. We just need to stop the server and restart it. So let's have a look. So here we have one problem, which is uh, the permission problem. Basically, we don't have permission to read the content. So let's just specify dash dash hello read. Dino is a secure sandbox, so we need to specify that flags explicitly to give some permissions and let's just hit the enter right here and here we have an error okay let's have a look what's the error uh, invalid data missing field path okay that happens on serve file so here's the thing i'm my mistake the serve file basically accepts two arguments first is request and second is the path okay so let's just restart the server again and have a look in the browser and here we see so now this chat HTML is served uh, using Dino we can just log in and have a look let's uh, let's try it so here is another problem which we need to fix so we take the whole URL and this is the URL and right now the script is trying to the following script is trying to check if a file exists with this name, okay, which is of course wrong. So we need to take everything before the question mark, okay? So let's do this. I'm gonna right here create a variable let URL equals request.url. If uh, we can actually take out the position as well, const position, and this position will be position of the question mark, okay? index of the question mark okay if position is greater than minus one mean, meaning that question mark exists there the url will be url substring from zero to the position okay in this case we take everything before the question mark from the beginning before the question mark okay and this is how my url will look like Okay, and right here I'm going to specify the URL and save and restart the server and let's have a look. Okay, just refresh the page and here we see. So the user Zura is connected. Let's duplicate this, change the name, bread, for example, and two users are connected and they can send messages. Awesome. This is the first thing, first thing what we need to do. Second is to adjust the client JS, this one from the public folder okay right here in the client JS there is a return localhost port 3000 when we deploy this on the Heroku of course it won't be localhost 3000 instead we want to take the host okay so let's open this Heroku installed version already installed version and right here in the console I'm just gonna uh, show to you what information we need to take so window location origin returns with a uh, protocol as well okay so we want to take window location host which returns the domain including the port in this case port is not mentioned so this is exactly what we want 
window location host. So I'm going to replace this localhost 3000 with this. And here we have. And one more thing, one last thing in this client.js is to change this WS protocol into WSS if it is running on the Heroku. Okay, so this is under HTTPS, as you see, and in case of HTTPS, we need to have WSS protocol, just like we have HTTPS. Okay, so we need to change this. So right here, I'm going to write, if window location protocol, window location protocol equals to HTTP colon, and let's have a look, window location protocol equals in this case https colon okay in that case it will be http colon okay so we just need to write if window location protocol equals to http question mark then we need to use the ws otherwise we need to use wss okay so let's just save this and that's okay already enough for the client js and we have to do a few more things first is to go to this sir.js and change this uh, port how we generally accept this port okay so when we deploy this on heroku the heroku is gonna inject the port from the terminal commands okay so instead of like executing this it will be executed something like this dash dash port equals uh, equals to some port okay and we need to take this port and serve on this port Okay, so for this, we need to parse the given arguments. And I'm going to use the flags, uh, flags HTTP module for this. So let's open dino.land and go to the standard library. And here we have all the standard library modules. I'm going to go to flags and import this mod.ts. But from this mod.ts, I want only one function, which is called parse. Import parse from the following uh, following HTTP. Just, I generally don't import from the master branch, and this is the master, master branch. Dino is going to give you also warning about this when you're importing things from the master branch. So let's switch to the specific version and import the version from there, okay? So it's very good. Uh, it's not very good practice to import things from the master branch. Okay, after this, let's define the default port, okay? If the port is not specified from the terminal, we're going to use the default port 3000. If it is specified, I'm going to take the given port. Argument port will be uh, to call the parse method and specify dino.args, okay, and take the port out of it. And then finally, our port will be if the argument port exists, so we're going to uh, convert it into a number okay so i'm going to call number or parse int whichever you want in this case so i'm going to specify parse int give the argument port otherwise we're going to take the default port okay and this is the port uh, if i just print this port right here on this line it will print this 1238 if i don't specify this or specify it as an empty it will print 3000 okay so let's just use the port right here and down below we are printing something so let's change it also let's change this into backticks and change this port as well okay awesome now we can already create the proc file which is necessary for deployment so let's create uh we need to call it exactly like this proc file only p needs to be in uppercase okay F needs to be in lowercase. Hit the enter, and we need to specify right here uh, fab dino run dash dash lonet. We can also specify right here the port, uh, but I don't want dash dash lo read dash dash cached only. Okay, and server.js. And we also need to specify right here dash dash port equals the following thing. So this basically will be replaced by the Heroku's actual port, okay? And we're going to take this port and use it in the server JS, just like we I showed to you. Okay, the next thing is to log in and register, actually register and log in on Heroku. So if you don't have an account, just go to the Heroku.com 
Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. And right here we have login and register buttons. If you are not yet registered, you need to do this first of all. Okay. After this, we need to install Heroku CLI uh, package using npm. So I'm going to run npm install minus g. We need to install it globally Heroku. Okay. I have already run this, so I'm not going to run it. And after this, you will have Heroku command globally available. Okay. So you, we just need to log in into Heroku CLI. Just run Heroku login. It will open the browser. You have to specify your Heroku username and password. And now CLI knows who you are. And the next thing is to create a, a Heroku project out of the current folder. Okay. So there is a Dino build pack for Heroku. So just type Dino build pack in the Google. The first one will be what you want. And scroll down and we need to run the following command. So we need to create the Heroku project using the following build pack. Okay, so I'm going to copy the following line, paste right here, hit the enter. It will create and give us the URL. And here is the URL. So let's open it in the browser. And this is the Heroku default application. Okay, whenever we deploy our chat, it will replace the following screen. Okay. Now we have to commit every change what we made in the project and let's just add all of them and push it on the Heroku. Okay, so are ready to deploy. Okay, and we need to push it on the Heroku. Git push Heroku master. So let's have a look. Okay, it's pushing, then it starts some building. Then it's downloading dependencies locally and cache it and start serving from it. Let's wait. Okay, and it was successfully pushed. Okay, in order to check if it's working, we have to open the URL, but specify right here chat.html. Okay, let's hit the enter and just have a look. And here we have, so the chat application is up and running. Let's log in on the chat. So here is one user. Let's duplicate this a few more times. We have bread, second user. We have max, third user, and they can start chatting. So I will make one more improvement in the code. So whenever we just try to access the domain without specifying anything, it's not going to work. So it will simply show the error. So we need to fix this. Let's go to the server JS. And right here, when we get the URL, so we need to check if the URL is just an empty string, okay? We need to specify that, let make the URL index HTML, okay? Just like this, with slash. And then everything else will work in the same way. So we have to comment this as well. So improvement in server.js. And let's push it again on Heroku. And here we have this application error I was talking about. Let's push it on Heroku. And in this case, it should already work. Okay, so let's just reload the page. And here we have it. All right, that's it for this video, guys. And I hope uh, you learned something new. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment. I will uh, give you an answer. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe and the bell buttons and just share this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.